A summary of part five. Helen Robinson is now a widow. She gets her job. On her way to work, Bob Ewell threatens her. He swears at Helen. She cannot tell the police because she is black. Bob Ewell is white. The police do not protect black people in Maycomb. Helen is very sad. She is also worried. A good white man finds out that Bob Ewell is threatening Helen. He warns Bob Ewell to leave her alone. Bob Ewell is a very bad man. He's racist. Bob Ewell is also lazy. He does not work for long because the boss tells him to leave. One night someone's house is broken into. Some people saw Bob Ewell running away from the house. It is autumn. Halloween night is on the 31st of October every year. There's going to be a big Halloween party in Maycomb. Scout is going to be dressed up as a piece of meat. She wears a big costume. Scout likes her costume. After the party, Scout falls asleep in her costume. When she wakes up, everybody has gone home. Jim Fang Scout. They walk home together. It is dark. Suddenly, they can hear someone walking behind them. Scout cannot run because she is still in her costume. They are frightened. They know someone is following them. Scout and Jem cannot see anything. They are alone. They are scared. What will happen? Scout and Jem are attacked. Jem's arm is broken. Someone is trying to kill them. The person has got a knife. Scout and Jem may be killed. Suddenly, someone comes to help them. Someone carries Jem to his house. The person who saved their life disappears. The doctor and the sheriff come. When Atticus comes home, the sheriff tells him that Bob Ewell is dead. He has a knife in his heart. Scout tells the sheriff what happened. They were walking home. She was wearing her costume. Scout tells the sheriff that she could not see anything. She says somebody helped them. A man saved their lives. Scout did not know who the man was because she had never seen him before. The sheriff points to a man who is standing behind Scout. Scout turns around. It is the man who saved her life. Scout has never seen this man before. Attica says, This is Boo Radley. He saved your life. For the first time, Scout can see Boo Radley. The sheriff tells Atticus that Bob Ewell wanted to kill Jem and Scout. When Boo Radley pushed him, he fell down. Bob Ewell fell down onto his own knife. Boo goes to say goodnight to Jem. He's asleep. Scout walks Boo Radley to his house. When Boo Radley goes inside, she thinks about what has happened. This is the Boo Radley who they used to talk about. This is the man who secretly gave them gifts. This is the kind person who put the blanket on Scout on the night of the fire. And this is the man who saved her and Jem's lives. Scout remembers what her father once told her that you never really know a man until you stand in his shoes and walk around in them. Just standing outside Boo Radley's house was enough for Scout to understand him. Scout goes home. She tells Atticus that Boo Radley is a really good person once you get to know him. Atticus agrees with his daughter and says, most people are really nice 
when you finally see them. Atticus reads to Scout. She falls asleep and he puts her to bed. True or false? Bob Ewell threatens Atticus. Bob Ewell is racist. Atticus is lazy. Halloween is on the 21st of October. Scout will dress up like a flower. Scout falls asleep in her costume. Scout and Jem get a taxi to take them home. Scout and Jem can hear someone walking behind them. Scout and Jem are attacked. Scout's arm is broken. Bob Ewell is dead. Boo Radley saved Scout and Jem's life. Scout walks Boo Radley to his house. How much have you learned in part five of To Kill a Mockingbird? Do the police protect black people in Maycomb? What is Bob Ewell like? When is Halloween night? What is Scout going to dress up as? What do Scout and Jem hear when they are walking home? Why cannot Scout run? Who is attacked? What happens to Bob Ewell? Who saved Scout's life? Extended questions. Did you enjoy the story To Kill a Mockingbird? Do you know what racial discrimination is? In the story, who suffered from racial discrimination? How do you think Scout changes in the story? Did you learn anything about the USA in the 1930s? Do you think To Kill a Mockingbird is a sad or a happy story?